Hello friends. This is a story of a dreamer boy who later became an inspirational youth leader. You are watching real stories that inspire life. This is the 15th episode in this series. He was born in a village called Becchi near Turin in Italy in August 1815. When he was only 2 years old, he lost his father and was brought up by his mother Margaret. As a young boy he was surrounded by many youth who were mostly poor and badly behaved due to illiteracy. He was just 9 years old when he had a dream which called him to dedicate himself to the education of young people. While still a boy he began to entertain his peers with games alternated with work, prayer and religious education. He challenged the way young people were treated in the desperate poverty that existed at that time in the city of Turin, Italy. He wanted to change the life of the poor youth. Therefore, he decides to be a priest. He was ordained in 1841. In Italy, my friend, priests are called don, followed by their family name. So John Bosco became Don Bosco as we refer to him today. Yes, This is a story of the great dreamer boy Don Bosco who is still an inspiration to the world today. He began his apostolate among poor teenagers with the founding of the oratory which he placed under the patronage of St Francis de Sales. He led young people to meet Christ by means of his educational style based on reason, religion and loving kindness. He led young people to the study of the faith and to apostolic civil and professional commitment st dominic savio stands out among the most outstanding fruits of his work the source of his effectiveness he says was his constant union with god and his unlimited confidence in maria help who he considered to be the inspiration and support of his whole work he sought his best collaborators among his young people thus establishing the society of st francis de sales hence the name sales or salesians together with st maria domenica mazzarello he founded the institute of the daughters of mary help of christians or we call them salesian sisters finally together with good and hard working lay men and women he created the salesian cooperators to work alongside him and sustain the education of young people Today there are nearly 30,000 religious men and women we call them salesians an army of dedicated lay folk In the centenary of his death which took place on January 31st 1888 Pope John Paul II proclaimed him the father and teacher of the youth Dear friends salesians in Goa are celebrating this year triple jubilee 50 years of the shrine the school and the salesian 75 years presence in goa keep our salesian fathers and sisters always in your prayers as they continue to do wonderful work among the youth of the world thank you my friend for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more videos on the lives of the saints viva salesians viva don bosco